Hey guys, what's up? How's everyone doing today? Doing pretty well here, thank you for asking. I've decided to do something a smidgen different for this video. Uh, it has nothing to do with bikes, video games, jogging, walking, hiking, putting a puzzle together, coloring, painting, or anything. It has nothing to do with anything at all like that. It has something to do with questions about yourself. Uh, what someone might ask you or what you might ask someone else just to learn a little bit more about that person or yourself etc etc I have a, a Google page pulled up here and it's basically uh, 100 getting to know you questions uh, just a bunch of random questions I'm gonna go through about 20 25 or so if I can and just kind of see what I come up with on these questions. I hadn't even looked at them. I just pulled it up, got my camera out, and thought I'd do this video real quick. So, forgive me when I look at the camera and look away at the question, but that's how we got to do it. First question is, who is your hero? Well, I guess I would have to say instantly my mom and my grandma. I got to have two, two answers on that one. Uh, because they raised me and my three sisters and my brother. They took care of all of us, gave us everything we needed. Uh, we never had dads. We never had men in our lives or anything. So it was those two that made everything possible in my life. I'm not going to speak for theirs. But, uh, yeah, my mom and my grandma. And they both passed away. Uh, if you could live anywhere where would it be boy it's a tough one because I go between wanting to live by a, a beach somewhere uh, somewhere where the temperatures are between 40 and 70 and then uh, somewhere uh, and then another place might be back in uh, Nevada like in Las Vegas where we live but not in Las Vegas uh, but out maybe by the mountains somewhere or something like that more of a dry uh, deserty climate uh, then sometimes I think I want to live more uh, in the mountains maybe out in Colorado where it gets a little cooler sometimes you get the snows and you got the mountains and more bike trails and this that and the other uh, so that's a tough question that's a tough one sometimes I say I want to leave our country just uh, because there's other countries out there that are better and uh, more civil and uh, just a lot, okay, a lot goes into that one. So let's go to the next one. What is your biggest fear? Well, usually I would say anything bugs, reptiles, or amphibians. But I think my biggest fear outside of that would be maybe to die and just be forgotten within a couple of generations, if even that long. Um, you know, you spend a lot of your life being who you are and your uh, personality and, and doing certain things and being a certain way and doing this and that. And, and, uh, <clears throat> and I think, uh, for me, that's one of my biggest fears, I guess, is just being forgotten. Um, and that is a lot of why I started my YouTube channel, uh, really pumping up the videos and that is to try and get myself out there and uh, maybe be seen by future family or whatever or when I die or, and then people years away you know maybe if YouTube's still up uh, just so people can at least get a glimpse of me and see what I was into and sounded like and looked like and all that so yeah probably that what is your favorite family vacation huh a tough one we vacationed in Las Vegas two times before we actually moved there and we vacationed in uh, Gulf Shores which is really cool and we went to uh, Gatlinburg and stayed for like a week in a super awesome cabin way at the top of the mountains like way up well that's a tough one between those 
Gulf Shores was pretty cool. Las Vegas, I'm going to probably say no, just because once I moved there, I seen it was just a loud, dirty, disgusting city. Uh, but it was neat to see to begin with. That's a tough one. Uh, I might say Gulf Shores just because of the beach and and the cool stuff that we kind of got to see and do, whatever. So it was pretty cool. What would you change about yourself if you could? I'd be more giving, a little bit more uh, less stingy with my time. Uh... Not quite as moody. I know I've uh, given you a couple answers, but uh, I can be quite moody. Uh, I, and I, that goes along with depression uh, that I suffer from. Um, but yeah, I think I'd be a little bit more uh, giving and outgoing and, and doing more. Uh, one thing that comes to my mind is uh, when my mom was in her last couple of years before she died. Um, you know, she'd call me up or text me or message me on Facebook or whatever. Hey, can you come over and do this? Or can you bring me that? Can you go to the store for me? And I'd always just be like, ugh. You know. Well, Ma, ugh, you drive me crazy. You know, I'd never tell her that. That's what you're thinking. And I feel like crap for doing that because uh, that woman did everything for us kids. Uh, she worked the factory life. For 30 years before they closed down and moved away uh, Emerson Electric and she she killed herself working at that place um, and then once they closed down she started working at the rehab center uh, where she ended up going or her mom ended up at and dying she ended up going there and dying uh, you know it's kind of where you go and it's kind of a, a recovery place or a last last kind of place that you might end up uh, anyway long story but yeah that what really makes you angry uh, rudeness I don't like rude people just downright rude disgusting trashy people it really gets on my nerves uh, just really really digs down in my heart and just ugh, really aggravates the crap out of me and if I was more of an outspoken guy and all that I'd probably be in a million fights by now just telling people to shut the F up and act right and everything else so yeah rudeness and just cruddy behavior and that yeah what motivates you to work hard well, as far as working outside the house, I don't do hard work anymore. I drive a school bus. Uh, it is difficult putting up with kids, and we do have to do training every year and stuff like that. But uh, what keeps me working hard in the past, I did construction for about 15 years, was that, well, you got to work. And I felt uh, manly doing that kind of work, and I was working with a friend, and and it just uh, what motivates you I guess is uh, the money and you know you got a family to take care of and your wants and needs and all that different stuff and uh, so that's, I guess that's about it on that one uh, what's what is your favorite thing about your career well like I said my career is driving a school bus my favorite thing is all the time off that we get and you get paid so I'm on contract, and if you're on contract here in our county, in our system, uh, you get 12 checks a year, and they're all pretty much the same unless you do some extra runs or you miss days or this, that, or the other. So, uh, yeah, you get paid all year long, no matter if you're at work or not. So that's pretty cool. What is your biggest complaint about your job? Uh, the rude, loud kids that will not listen. That's my biggest complaint. Woo! And I've told a few of them. Well, you better be glad I'm not your dad. Because <laughs> I wear some kids out. Uh, what is your proudest accomplishment? That's a tough one. Because I have a few. 
I mean, initially you want to say your kids. Uh, but I want to say the fact that uh, I've been married for 26 years. We just had our anniversary this past Wednesday, June 26th. Uh, 26 years. I've been faithful all those years. I've never, I don't cuss my wife. I, I've never hit her. I've never cheated on her. Um, you know, of course, my kids are proudest moment. And uh, of course, we got grandkids now. We just had a, we have kind of a step granddaughter from my boyfriend's girlfriend that he's with now. But then they just had our blood granddaughter, June 20th. Uh, so she's just a newborn sweetie. Uh, my kids, I love them to death. Uh, I don't know. I guess, I guess all that together and a few other little things would be my proudest accomplishment. Uh, what is your favorite book to read? I am not a book reader. Um, honestly, the biggest book in the main book I've ever read uh, read in my life would be the Bible and that's whenever I was following religion and I read the Bible and then I read I read through it you know different books and chapters and all that kind of different stuff a dozen more times and and all that stuff I'm no longer associated with that kind of stuff I am atheist um, so I don't know if that's uh, my favorite book but it is definitely the biggest book. I mean, I read from the Old Testament, New Testament, all in between. And that is a huge accomplishment for me because I hate reading. Nowadays, though, I read books to my little step-granddaughter. And she drives me crazy about it. I want to read a book. I want to read a book. And I read them. And I love it. Well, boy, she'll have me read them books to death. Woo! Love it, though. I love her to pieces. Uh, what makes you laugh the most? Man, just anything. The goofiest sense of humor, just the tiniest, dumbest thing can make me just cry laughing. I don't know. I'm one of them people. I'm old school. I'm not PC. Uh, when you make fun of people, you know, in good humor, when you make fun of people and just laugh and cut up about them and you find something funny about them and you just use it for the humor and all that, it just, it, that's what I like. I like just crazy, stupid humor. So, I don't know. It's stuff that might offend some people and some of it it might not. Don't really care. Uh, what was the last movie you went to and what did you think? What was the last movie I went to? I don't know if it was Endgame, uh, Avengers Endgame, or what. Uh, I don't remember. We'll say that was the last one that I went to. Even though I don't know if it was. Uh, what did I think? I think for, uh, you know, a superhero comic book type movie i think it uh was really well done i think the whole story from beginning to end you know uh the last what 21 22 movies whatever it's been or whatever it's gonna be uh i think they were well done for the most part of what i've seen i haven't seen them all i've seen most of them probably uh but yeah end game end game was pretty good i enjoyed it what did you want to be when you were small when I was small, I wanted to be a carpenter to some degree, which I did, I guess, during, you know, when I was in construction. Uh, artist, cartoonist, photographer, uh, a pro BMX rider, uh, not so much racing, but uh, the tricks, flatland and vert and all that. Uh, just kind of a mixture of all that stuff. And that those things are still my passion today. Absolutely just love them. Love everything about it. Uh, let's see. What does your child want to be when he or she grows up? Well, my kids are grown up, and I don't think they have any real aspirations of being much of anything spectacular. They work at Walmart and uh, do what they can to get by. So, can't really ask that too much. If you could choose to do anything for a day, 
what would it be? Oh boy. If you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? Man, that's a tough one. If you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? Uh, probably at this point, probably go to like Windrock Bike Park or or something like that. One of those bike parks where I could do some uh, some real uh, trail riding and downhill. Uh, not extreme stuff because I'm not that good, but uh, pump tracks and little jumps and little stuff like that I'd like to try and uh, stuff to do stuff to do with cycling in the, in that type of field. Probably yeah, if I could pick one thing, that's what I would I'd want to do for a day. Um, what is your favorite game or sport to watch and play? Well, I'm not really into sports, but it, whenever I did. Uh, run around and do stuff. I always played basketball, but I would do that just by myself, shooting ball, like for an hour, two hours. I didn't care. I, and that's when I was in my twenties. Uh, I loved basketball, of course, j during the Jordan era and all that. It was amazing. Uh, video games. I'll go ahead and throw that in there as. Uh, what's your favorite game or sport to watch? I'll go ahead and throw that in there with that. Uh, video games, I've always had a passion for video games. I don't play as much now as I did, you know, years ago. Uh, this last generation, the PS4 and Xbox One and all that, I never, I, I didn't buy into that. And that's the first generation I've not bought into uh, since I was, uh, since the 80s. I've had all the main consoles. Uh, let's see. Would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? Well, I think we know the answer to that one. Uh, ride a bicycle. I don't know if they're talking about a bike, motorbike, or a bicycle. But, uh, yeah, I'd rather ride a bike. I'm in a car and a bus all the time. and Horse, nah, no thank you. What would you sing at karaoke night? That's a tough one. Huh. I like to sing, I just am not good with lyrics, and I'm not a trained vocalist. Eh. That's a tough one. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe Father Figure by George Michael. How about that? What two radio stations do you listen to in the car the most? Uh, WTPR or whatever WMUF. I don't know. It's a couple of different stations uh, that we have here in town. Uh, that's probably, well, no, I'm lying about that. I don't listen to those. I listen to one out of Jackson, 92.3, The Hog. And I listen to some other station that kind of comes in. I don't know. Uh, I listen... I can't hardly listen to music today. It's just, it has zero soul, zero anything in it for me. So I listen to stuff, uh, I listen to older stuff all the time anymore. Uh, you'll find, once in a while, I'll find a song that's decent, newer, but very rare. So, uh, which would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house? Uh, well, if I had a lawnmower, I, I wouldn't mind mowing my yard because my yard is super flat, just a big rectangle, flat with my house and a shed. Uh, very easy to do. Uh, wash dishes, I do that every day. Clean the bathroom, I don't do that very often. If it does get clean, my wife usually does that. Vacuum the house, we don't have carpet. So... I guess out of, the, out of all those, if I even had a lawnmower, I'd choose, I guess, maybe mow the yard. Um, if you could hire someone to help you, would it be with cleaning, cooking, or yard work? Ugh, cleaning. I'm tired of cleaning. I clean. I'm, you know, my wife works a lot more hours than I do, so I'm the one that does the majority of the housework. You know, it is what it is. Uh, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, oh my god, what would it be? <laughs> Boy, that's a tough one. Because there is, 
serious options there. I'm a cheeseburger and fry kind of guy. La. I love cheeseburger and fries. I love seafood, lobster, and crab, shrimp, all that stuff. So red lobsterish kind of seafood. Uh, I have we have a local restaurant here in town uh, called Tom's Beef and Steakhouse. It's ran by uh, a family that I'm very close with. I'm best friends with their son, uh, and they have the best pizza. I say pepperoni pizza because that's really all I like. Uh, the best vegetable soup and the best salad bar in the history of the world to me. I just love it. I mean, I daydream of it. When we moved to Las Vegas, I could not wait to get back here to go there. And that is the first place we went when we got back to town was Tom's. So that's a tough question. I love soups. I love chili. I love Wendy's chili. Any other chili I've ever ate gave me heartburn. Wendy's chili I can eat. So, that is so tough, man. That's a tough one. Uh, who is your favorite author? Uh, nobody. Like I said earlier, I don't read. So, yeah. Well, guys, that's 25 questions. And uh, I'm going to stop it there for today. I hope that you learned a little something about me. And I hope that I can learn a little something about you. Put some stuff in the comments if you want. Remember, I do all this for free, no monetization, no ads, all for fun, because I love you, I love me, and I love the world. Okay? I was laying it on a little thick. Guys, we'll see you later, and don't forget to get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. Now leave some comments in there. See you.